Hi friends, welcome to my kitchen. My name is Jay, and today I have the second video in my Valentine's Day dessert series. This one is very nostalgic for me. Did you guys ever have banana pudding, that pudding with the vanilla wafer crackers and the sliced bananas? For Valentine's Day, I thought it would be fun to put a little bit of a twist on that. So instead of banana pudding, I'm doing strawberry pudding, and I'm really excited to see how it holds up to that nostalgic memory that I have of the banana pudding. So I'm gonna walk you through how to make that. For ingredients, I have whipped cream. I'll link the video to my homemade whipped cream, and I made some fresh this morning. If you don't wanna make your whipped cream um, homemade, that's fine, you can just get some at the store. I have um, vanilla pudding mix, sweetened condensed milk, and then the vanilla wafer crackers. Um, oh, and then cut up strawberries. I was trying to find strawberry pudding. I couldn't find any. I went to two stores and I couldn't find any. So what I ended up doing, I thought to myself, well maybe I'll just do red food coloring. I didn't really want to do that. I ended up finding this at the store at Walmart. Strawberry extract. I've never done anything with it before. Um, so I'm gonna try doing that. And then in terms of supplies, I have my trifle dish, which by the way, I did not own one of these previously. I bought this at um, Wegmans the other day, so I'd have it for this video. And then you're gonna need a mixing bowl. I have this one chilling in the fridge. This is really easy to put together. The first thing you're gonna do is pour your sweetened condensed milk into your mixing bowl. Then you pour in your pudding mix. When going over ingredients with you, I forgot to mention that you also need whole milk. I never have whole milk in the house. I have 2%, so that's what we're gonna go with. And you need one and one thirds cup of that. All right, and I'm just gonna use my hand mixer to combine these things. All right, that is good and combined. Now I'm gonna stick this in the fridge just for like 15 minutes just to give it a chance to thicken up a little bit. Right now it's really watery and we have to put it into the dish and it's just gonna be a lot easier for you to work with if it's a little bit thicker. So I'm gonna stick it in the fridge for like 15, 20 minutes and then we'll be back. All right, we are back. So this has been in the fridge actually for a long time because I started doing something else. So this is like pretty much already pudding, which is great. It's gonna make it a lot easier to work with. So what you're gonna do now You've got your whipped cream. You're going to stir half the whipped cream in with your pudding mix and you reserve the other half to put on top of this at the end. All right, now my plan for this. I made this the other day just to make sure that I would like it before I made this video. And I tried to just spoon it into my dish. I actually didn't have this dish at the time um, and I put it in something else and it was so difficult to work with. It was such a mess, it did not look pretty. So I think I'm going to put this into a plastic bag and cut off the tip and use it as like a makeshift like piping bag. And I'm gonna see if that'll be a little bit easier for me to manage. So let's see, let's see how this works. Let's see if I can do this. This might be a disaster. Knowing me, it probably will be a disaster. All right, that actually wasn't a complete disaster. <laughs> that could have been a lot worse than it was. I'll take it. I forgot to put the uh, strawberry extract in there, so let's do that really quick. I hope I like this. You know what? I think I'm gonna put a little bit into a bowl and just make sure I don't hate it before I commit to that. And I'm gonna put just like the smallest little drop in here. See if this is any good because it kind of smells like medicine a little bit and I'm afraid I mean I am putting real strawberries in this so that might be enough yeah I don't know if I'm gonna like this I don't like how it smells I don't hate it but it does give it that fake strawberry taste you know what I mean like strawberry candy and I'm not about that. It's not terrible, but I think I'm gonna leave it. I don't think I'm gonna use this. I don't know that I would splurge for this because this thing was almost $4 and I don't know when I'm ever gonna use this. So I don't know that I'm going to endorse it. 
Um, but like always, up to you, whatever you think, do whatever you think. All right. I don't know if this is gonna be any easier either, but I wanted to try because it was so difficult to work with before. So just fill the bottom of your, your dish with it, with the pudding. And then I'm gonna start by lining the sides with cookies. Okay, wow. Oh, this is gonna be gorgeous. All right, do I have, a, I think I'm gonna do a layer on the inside too. All right, now fill it up past the cookies. All right, and you can always take a damp paper towel and clean up whatever mess you make because I do want this to be pretty. All right, now I'm gonna take my spoon and spread this because I really do need this to be on top of the cookies here. Spread this out a little bit. All right, so I have the top of this totally covered, but you can see the cookies on the sides. Oh, that's adorable. All right, now I cut up my strawberries to look like this. And I'm going to place them in along the sides here. Going along the dish. Okay, all right, there you go. Look at that, that's so cute. This is so much fun. This is such a fun dessert to make. Um, so what I'm gonna do, you're not gonna be able to see this right here, so just to try and make sure that this has lots of yummy goodness in it, I'm gonna do uh, some more cookies, and then I have a couple extra little strawberries that I don't need for the top, and I'll stick them in there too. So here's kind of what we're working with in this bowl. So the last step is to put the whipped cream on top. And then I have kind of a plan for how I want to decorate the top of this, so hopefully I can pull that off. I don't have, I don't do a good job with um, utensil management when I'm cooking and baking. I'll use, like, I used that um, little spatula thingy, the blue one that I love earlier, and I just threw it right in the water-filled pudding bowl from earlier and I mean I could get it out and wash it off but I don't want to do that so I had to get out another one I'm bad at that I need to do a better job managing my supplies when I'm cooking and baking so that I can really cut down on the dishes that I have to do afterwards oh my goodness I'm so excited there's something that's just so rewarding about doing this kind of stuff you know like I made this I made this so exciting I hope you guys get that feeling too, that feeling of, I did something. <laughs> it's a great feeling. All right, I'm gonna try to spread this out over the strawberries. Let's see if I can do it. I don't know if I have enough. Okay, no, I like it. I'm in, I'm, I can get behind this. So my plan for the top, I cut these strawberries. These were kind of my bigger strawberries. So when I cut them, I got really tall slices. So I'm gonna go through them really quick and pick out the tallest ones. And I want to try and make like a little rose in the middle. We'll see. I've never done it before. Let's see how it turns out. Oh, it's off center. Oops. Okay. And then I'll show you this afterwards. Oh, it's so off center. Shoot. Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, and then I think I want to do some cookies around it. Let's get out some really pretty ones. How do I want to do this? Do I want to lay them flat or do I want to stand them up? I'll lay them flat. Just make a circle around it. I'm sure some other people probably could make this look more professional than me, but I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm pretty proud of myself. I think this looks really pretty. Semi-professional. It's like, I'm good at cooking and baking, but I don't do a lot of decorating of any kind. I've never needed to. Okay, friends, there you go. This is my second um, Valentine's Day dessert recipe for you. This one looks like it would be really fun for kids too. And it's such a big portion. It makes so much that you could really have this be a family Valentine's Day dessert. Tom doesn't like strawberries, so I'm gonna bring this one to work today and let my coworkers enjoy it. It's more dessert than I need in the house for just me. 
I'm really happy with this recipe. I hope that you give it a shot. Let me know in the comments if you do, if you like it, what your thoughts are. If you like this video, please subscribe to see more stuff like this in the future. So thanks so much for dropping in. Have a great day. Bye.